everyone welcome back to my first video of 2022 i did a small post on the nail vanities website and i asked what color you guys would like to see next and you chose lilac so we are doing this lilac set so I've applied my tips, done my clear base and I'm coming in with Violet Eclipse. Obviously this is from Nail Vanity and if you've ever watched my videos before and you've seen me work with lilacs, you've seen the trouble I've had with marbling and this product is absolutely a godsend as you can see. There is not one bit of marbling at all. You don't really have to put much product on. Um, it's really opaque. It's not wishy-washy. I absolutely love this brand. Yeah, I'm an ambassador. But even if I wasn't, I would still use this brand. Because I absolutely love it. So I'm doing a ombre on the index finger and the pinky. So I will just let you watch this bit. Now moving on to the ring finger and this is going to be a full nail of the Violet Eclipse as I will be coming in later on with a decal. Now moving on to the middle finger and I'm going to do a marble on this nail using the Violet Eclipse and Blizzard White. I've not done a marble for ages um, and I, I really enjoyed doing it and I, I was quite pleased in how it turned out to say I've not done one for a long time. Killing the mood, oh, you being so rude. Get out of my way. 
the art of a good marble they tell me is just wet beads and not swirling them together too much otherwise you'll create a mush now that bead was a bit too wet i will admit any parts that you're not happy with like this part i'm just going back in and adding a few more little bits lately i've been lying to myself no i need to get some help hoping you could save me baby I'm now coming in with a few of those flakes what I showed you in the beginning and I'm just dotting them around you don't need a lot just just a few and then I'll leave this nail to set up and then I will cap it in clear I'm now coming in with iced pink and this is a core powder and I'm just creating my ombre with this. It's absolutely stunning this colour, it's so sparkly. And I was quite impressed how the, the colours blended together. I've been trying to fix the mess myself up out of bed but i'm feeling empty maybe i need to try something else get you i'm also building my apex with this as it is a core powder the same again on the index finger so I'll just let you watch this Now when I started I was originally doing a full nail of the violet eclipse on this nail but I was searching through my drawer and I found some glitters and I mixed a few together and I got this. <laughs> so I'm just doing a glitter ombre on this one. I just loved how the iridescent bits um they shined like a purple colour and I thought it all matched up quite nice. I'm now coming in at the cuticle again with the ice pink. Show me up when 
day and smiling and I'm just finishing this thumb off with the flakes and doing a swoosh And that's the set so far. So I'm now coming in with my decal and I'm just applying a little bit of base coat onto that nail. It just allows the decal to slide around so you can get it in the correct position. And when I've got it in the position that I want and I'm happy, I will cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm now coming in with some top coat. Now, I don't usually do this, um, but I was using some new decals that I'd got and I was just trying them out and I, I'd, I'd cured the decal on the base coat and everything was fine and I went to cap it like I normally do and all the colour run and then my fr it was my friend that told me yeah, you're better off top coating it first. So I've top coated it. I've just buffed the shine off and now I'm coming in and capping it. So I know that those colors won't run. So I'm just capping this one on camera and then I will do the rest and file off camera and be back for the design. So now all these nails have been capped and filed and I'm just applying a few gems just to the base of the pinky finger and the index finger. So I'll just let you watch this bit. So I'm now coming in with Nail Vanity High Shine Top Coat and 
believe me when I say this, this is the glossiest top coat that I've ever used. I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to top coat all of these nails. I also want to say a massive thank you to all my regular subscribers and to my new subscribers. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining to follow my channel. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for all your lovely comments. And thank you to all of you who follow my other social media channels. I do appreciate that as well. So when I've finished top coating these nails, I will put them in the lamp for a full cure for 60 seconds and I just top coat the underside of this one as it's a glass nail, well semi glass nail. And this looked a bit lonely on its own in the corner, so I just decided to do a little bit of... I'm not going to say artwork, it's not really art, but yeah. A bit of fancy work, I shall say, on this, <laughs> this nail. So, we are about at the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching today i really do appreciate it if you're not subscribed to my channel please please subscribe i would love it if you've enjoyed this video today give me a big thumbs up and i will be uploading again at the weekend so i will catch you all in my next video thanks for watching guys bye Sign. Wanna make you part of mine? I've been waiting for a sign.